Alright guys, it's time, I'm back, and I forgot how to do an intro, hold on. Alright, let me try this again. What's up guys, this is Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to the next episode of the Pokemon Omega Red Nuzlocke. And, in the last episode, we finally figured out how to do T, and that took me forever to figure out. And we made it here to Saffron, and we were making our way through the, um, Silph Cup. So, let's go ahead and finish that, and then I think we will be able to just do some gems today. Like, that sounds like a good thing to me. Uh... It also took me forever to figure out how to do the, get the key card, even though I knew the area it was in. But I needed that information anyways. Because here in not too long, there is going to be a new series popping up on the channel. So you better be on the lookout for it. Oh wait. It's a room I haven't been in yet. Okay. Uh, I think I already talked to him. There we go. Max revive. Escape broke. Full heal. Okay, okay. Okay. I really just want to get to the gems at this point today. Like, we're just... We, we need to get to the gems. Okay, so I have already done that floor. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've already been here. Really just looking for something here. Um, you know, speaking of the gyms, have you guys ever, like, really wanted to know the story behind, like, how the dojo came to be? And, um, my brain's fogging while I'm trying to do this. Um, just, like, at what point did they like switch gems potentially or like did they open after the Sabrina psychic type gem like if you already know the answer to this I'd actually love to hear it because it seems super interesting to me hmm okay I haven't been in this one yet nope I definitely have Silph is finished just because of a break-in. There are companies that have break-ins like all the time and they don't just completely shut down, even if it's just their headquarters. Are these the beds that heal you? Yes, they are. Okay, um, give me a second. I want to find out what floor is. Okay, floor 9. Floor 9 is the one that heals you. And it's also the floor you need to be on to finish Silph. And don't be like screaming and yelling like I know that was the right way to go But I just want to make sure I get all these doors opened up and check out if there's any more items in them Since this is like a ROM hack version. I want to see like what kind of random items they throw in in places okay. We'll keep using Charlie Yeah, let's Okay, we're good uh, probably Hariyama, though I will switch out. Meditite? We can probably take... Yeah... Just evolve stages a lot more. Yep, there it is. Hesitant about. We have Charmed. Charmed has Psychic now. Found that in the last episode. Yeah, we're good. And then so let me run back and take a quick nap, and we'll be all good. Isn't there a person 
There he is. I was gonna say a person somewhere in here that um gives me a uh, Lapras. Yeah, that, that guy. That guy right next to him. Uh, green here. He has level 50s, but yet the grunts have level 60s? Aquiladin. Okay. He yeah, has level 53 Quilladin. Uh, Blast Choice would just... Let's use Venusaur. We use Felix way more often. And we'll give Venusaur the Mega. You're super gone. A Gallade. That's a little bit harder. Hmm. I'm gonna keep Venusaur in. I don't imagine even a Psycho Cut doing that much. Plus, he is so underleveled for this point. Uh, Electabuzz. I think I'm just gonna keep going Venusaur right now. Like, Venusaur is fairly safe. I mean, everyone's safe whenever we're 20 levels above him. Alright, he's just. Become the most powerful trainer, blah blah blah. Sure. Um, I'll name you Unana. We'll check that out later. Like, if it's actually a decent level, we'll consider adding it, but. Probably not, because it's probably going to be super underleveled for this point in the game. And grinding is already kind of painful. I'm just really lucky I haven't lost... I don't think I've lost anyone in grinding yet. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's Giovanni time. Did you say... Aw, oh, man, we meet again. Is my name Man in this? Okay. Um, Preston and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. Oh, he didn't even give me a choice. It's just you are experiencing this world of pain right now. Yep, that's what I was worried about. He's also kind of low-leveled. I figure he would be much higher than his grunts, but he is not. Like, yeah, by... No, we're all good. First of all, Ninetales has Aurora Beam. Second of all, Ninetales has Fairy. So you literally just get demolished. Oop. Uh, I'll give Venusaur more time to shine. This team's gonna be so scary whenever we get our final battle, if he uses the same team in his gym match. It's gonna be like Garchomp, Tyranitar, uh, Pylosand is still pretty scary, a Nidoking. That's a scary team. There's not too much you really need to add to it. Now we're good. We'll take it out with Psychic now. Or Surf. Surf. And now we can timestamp because we got the Viridian City Gym Badge, right? Alright. Master Ball from Sylph Boy here. And now I can check on... Oh, my name is Man. Yeah, it's level 25. Has a Water Absorb, that's pretty cool. Got decent moves and everything, so, like, I guess it's there if I really need a backup. Basically either that or, um, Froki over here. They're the same level. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna escape rope out of here. And now... We're, we're barely into this episode, like, we can definitely just go fight the gems now.
and then they'll tell me the story of how these gems came to be. Or not. Oh, but I get another static in here, too. Okay, so... They're pretty much going to have fighting-type Pokemon, so it's probably smarter using Charmed. Um, I'm still a little bit worried about these just being double battles, because they can. Nope, just singles. It's just two at a time. A Crabrawler. Okay, we got Venusaur. Ooh, he lived. Wow. Okay, okay, I see you. Crabominal. Uh... Probably still charmed. I don't really want to get hit with a close combat on Charlie and just die. Yep. Okay, so we're working through here. We've got an interesting uh, story for you guys. So, um, you know how most chicken has, like, uh, breading on it and then they, like, fry it? And then you can get, like, grilled chicken and that's what's, like, a kind of healthier chicken. You know, because it doesn't have all the potential, like, fats and acids on it. Or not acids, um, oils. Oils is what I meant. Um, so in the middle of conversation, uh, my girlfriend couldn't think of the word grilled. She's like, uh, yeah, let, let's get, let me get some, um, uh, some naked chicken. And I had no idea what she was talking about. Okay. Still did a lot. And I stopped and I was like, what is naked chicken? Like, is that something like an actual store? And we we couldn't get that worked out for like a little while. It's like, what is naked chicken? Couldn't kill her. You know, I feel like for safety purposes, because some are already low, I'm going to throw in Valentine. Okay, he's going for Focus Punch. Just because it's a real loot does not mean it can't be scary. Oh yeah, I forgot. I taught Felix Forest Sphere. Okay. I'm gonna run back and heal real quick. Um, but yeah, like, have you ever thought that the breading on chicken is like a chicken's clothes? Like after they, after you know they've already been, uh, I guess, cooked. Because like, would you imagine the feathers on the chicken its clothes normally? Oh, I thought I'd actually talk to him. Like, I just... It got me thinking a lot about that, and like, is that how we consider all food that we, like, put extra stuff on? Like, if you put those, like, little, uh, white things on a turkey at Thanksgiving, are you putting shoes on the turkey? Like, is that, is that what we're doing? I'm already scared of this thing, it's level 72. Okay. Everything just uses close combat. I mean, I get why, because it doesn't have any drawbacks in this game. It's just really annoying for me. Um, so even for, like, like, a cow. Like, a cow has, like, a small amount of, like, fur on it. Are we... Is that like clothing? When when you put, I guess, when you put a bun on your hamburger, is is that like a hat? Like, I, I think I'm looking too far into this at this point. Like, I'm actually kind of confusing myself more talking about it. But yeah, apparently grilled chicken is naked chicken. That's the only way you can view it. I've never slowed it down to see that. But there's like a little ghost thing that comes out of your Mega Evolution. Kind of like how when you get cursed in the game. Are you just going to keep detecting? 
I just realized this thing could have fire and or ice punch. Oh, I guess uh, we'll figure it out here. Or we'll just get a crit. Okay. Good job, Venusaur. I'm just gonna boop, 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 boop. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Hitmonchan. Didn't... We already had a Hitmonchan. Dang it. I should have picked the Hitmonlee. Um... I'm gonna name you Hilly for no reason. Oh, I can stand on his plant. That's nice. But yeah, I should have chosen Hibonli. Alright, so we're about to go into Psychic Type Gym here. Who actually has super effective moves against Psychic Types? You do? You do. You do. That's it. So... Three out of six isn't bad. That's pretty much what you use in a standard gem anyways. And in this gem, I'm definitely not gonna care about, care about fighting everyone, just because I... This gym's already hard enough to navigate through without worrying about fighting everyone. Um, most psychic types are weak physically, so I'll get Charlie back out here. Because everything else I hit them with are special. I am going to fight a few trainers along the way. Like, if I land in theirs and I'm going to walk past them, I'm not going to avoid it. I'm already worried about a pile of swine now. Oh, hey, look! It's like I almost called it. Also, they're level 50s here. So I'm... I did not read that, so... That is not a psychic type. So that does not bode well for me in the future here. Yeah, they definitely like planned on you coming here first, which is very interesting. Um, is Charm still holding the Lucky Egg? Who has the Lucky Egg? Where does it say who has items? Black Glass. Venusaurite. Lucky Egg. That makes sense why you're 78 and everyone else is like dragging behind you. Okay. I really don't want to fight another gym leader today, but... Hey look, I made it. I only had to fight one trainer. I didn't even have to fight her. Oop. Do you guys remember the episode of the anime where Serene actually was there and like they had just this dollhouse thing going on and... The second time around, just so we're clear. And, like... Ash got a haunter... And pulled bombs out of its mouth. Man. Pokemon used to be... Not used to be, I guess it still is pretty weird. Man, they keep throwing out Gallade, and I just... I don't know what to do against Gallade. Because, like... I think Ghost is its only actual real weakness, isn't it? No, it's just like flying. But like, fighting takes care of most of a psychic type's weakness. Because it resists bug and dark then, it's only ghost. And then... Then psychic resists psychic, so it takes care of that for its fighting type side. Oh wow. Gotha... I think it's Gotha Tell? Yeah, Gotha Tell. 
Okay. Did not plan on steamrolling the gym. Venusaur doesn't even have a poison type attack, so that's pointless. Um, I'm actually just gonna kind of hope it doesn't have synchronize. It does. There. Oh, it has hypnosis. That's fun. Maybe I'll confuse it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Who has good special defense? Actually, a lot of my team does. I think I'm gonna go with Ninetales, though. Okay, that went fairly well. That's so unlikely. Alright, where are my four stores? Okay, that's not what I want to see. There's no way you can just keep hitting through confusion like that. And that should be doing way more to you. Because doesn't Hex do more depending on if you have a status condition? Yeah. Even if my special attack is lowered. So should be doing a little bit more. And I still don't know if this thing has a psychic type move, because all it's shown me is hypnosis and moonblast. And psychics, actually, yeah, it does. Um That's not what I want to see. There's no point in me staying asleep, so I have to use something on it. It has energy ball. Okay then. Says so I'm gonna hit pretty much every member of my team right now. So that's not what I want to see. I did not think the guard of would shut me down completely like this. And it keeps getting a special attack lower. There we go. You snap out turn two? I don't think so. That's not how this works. It has to run out of hypnosis here soon. Okay, maybe a roar beam. Oh my goodness, how many of these do I have? Okay, you must be almost out of hypnosis. This may be your last one. There's no way you have any more than that. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Get out here, Charlie. Just literally just destroy this thing. There. Jeez. Which one was actually her ace? Because it really seemed like it was the Gardevoir. All the Oxam was gonna do is try to set up on me with Calm Minds. Which doesn't mean a thing if you just die immediately. That's kinda tempting. Yeah, I'm gonna go and teach it over Supersonic, because Supersonic's so un... Not unpredictable, um... Unreliable, that's the word I'm thinking of. Come on. Boop. Go.
Okay. Uh, so eat that gem. I have to remember how to get out of here. Just gonna... There we go. Um... Okay, I thought that Pidgey was like blocking that door and I found that really strange. So, I guess the next thing to do would be to, um... Go down to, um, Cinnabar. Do I actually already have it on chance? Yep, right there. Hammer. I wonder if he at least has um huge power. Nope. Does have bullet punch though. Which I think I might have passed on. Okay, give me one second. I wanna write in the Lapras and the Hitmonchan. Lapras and I always forget how to spell Hitmonchan for some reason, even though it's super easy. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of work my way down to uh, Cinnabar now, and that's probably what we're just gonna call the episode. It's actually not too much left in this game, I'm now realizing, which is great because it means I'm actually. I actually might beat the game. Isn't this the top part of Vermilion? I think I have the wrong idea of where this is, or where Saffron is. Yeah, I do. Oh well. I can take the kind of weird longer way. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I still don't have Rock Smash, which I mean isn't a big deal or anything, because like, it might give me like a Legendary or two, but like, you don't really need them in this game. I actually can't even speed up around here, because like, I'm just going to hit the walls. Da, 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 da. That's not the way to go. You know, riding on a bike like this actually reminds me of how I really ride on a bike, which is poorly. Because I didn't learn until I was like 13. Because I would just get so frustrated and also had terrible balance. But yeah, it was just so annoying. And it's not. Whenever you go into like your actual life, unless you're like trying to exercise, it's not very common. You're going to be on a bike, so it's not necessarily a useless skill, but you can easily avoid it. Hmm. So maybe let's get a few more encounters here, because I think this is a new route, right? Yeah, 19. See, I actually enjoy this aesthetic they did, where like they have random Pokemon on the sides. It makes a lot of sense. Like, why would there not be just random Pokemon just kind of chilling on the sides? Uh, you have Cross Chop. There we go. But you will not be leading. Because that is a dumb idea. I definitely could have used this route for training. Uh, actually, since I'm looking for an encounter, let's throw Felix out front. Let me just go ahead and get this encounter. I bought the magic card, didn't I? Got a Litten. Got a Poplio. Well, there's no Pokeball next to it, so I guess I just straight up didn't buy the magic card. Which ended up biting me in the butt. Should have just bought the magic carp. Okay. Yay. 
Yay! Magic card. Okay. Okay. I see how that bottle was gonna go. It's gonna be a toxic protect stall mud kit. And this person has probably has a swamper. Which really does not matter. You know, I'm kinda wondering if anyone else anytime soon is gonna have a mega against me. Cause they like clearly wanted you to have megas. Really? An entire team that uses protect the first like two turns? It's just annoying. It's not even good. It's just annoying. I don't know if the route changes at any point while well, I'm heading down here, so we'll see. It becomes 20 here as soon as I turn to the left. So, that's interesting. Um, I'm gonna try to go behind these people. Stay away. Stay. Stay. Dang it. Is this gonna be a horsey sea drug kind of person? No, it's not. Okay. Kind of getting a mixed bag here. Interesting. Now we're doing sea drug. I might as well still even Venusaur. Oh, okay. He has four, not three. Seismitoach. Actually, I do need to leave in Venusaur. Okay. Counter. It's a Barboach. Okay, that's fine. Uh, throw a Nest Ball. There we go. PC box. And made it to a desert island. Seafoam islands. I definitely forgot these were here. Um, how do I work around them? I have to go through them, don't I? Okay, I'm just gonna leave that for the next episode because that's probably gonna take me a little while. So if you guys have enjoyed me beating self go taking on two gems today, uh, let me know, because I'd love to hear it. And be on the lookout for a new project on the works coming out sometime in the next few days. So, I'll see you guys next time. Boop -a -doop -boop.